Get in the car. Where are we going? Post office. No, where are we going? Whitby. We're going to Whitby. We're on our way. We're going to Whitby. We're going to probably meet Simply Whitby TV. Simon, I don't know whether his Mrs. Carol's going to be there or not. We'll have to play that one by ear. We're going to the Riviera Guest House, where we have stayed before. Lovely place. Lovely. Uh, I don't think we've got the same room, though, Sharon. I don't know whether we've got a different room or not. We'll know when we get there. You're coming with us. We're going away. We're going to probably taste some food and all that. We're not too sure exactly what we're doing. I'm tasting food. I'm bloody hungry. The weather is fine there, apparently. But Emma, one of the owners there, said, bring your coats. So we've done that. Right, let's get going, shall Get down to the post office. Send off a couple of mugs, which we've got. Yeah, thank you for purchasing And also, mugs. someone's purchased a, ho a hoodie yep. off of Tracy. I've left the link for the hoodie down below. She's just going to get the hoodie sent to her. Yeah. So, but you're getting your mugs, hopefully, in a couple of days. Yeah, because they come from our house. So, yeah. both merchandise is different. Anyway, let's get going on our way to Whitby. See you in a minute. Here we are. We're on the Humber Bridge, folks. Just crossing it now. Look at the vast amount of water that we're actually crossing here. Look. Fantastic. Now let's go back to the front, baby. So this is a very large suspension bridge. And uh, I can't remember the length of it. I think, is it one mile and a quarter long, Shell? I can't remember. You're asking me? Yeah. Something like a length of a bridge? Would not know. I don't know. Look at it over this way, look. See over, this, over that side, look. Look at that. Very wide mouth here. I don't know how deep it is in the middle, but... Um, we pay as we go over on the on the exit of the bridge, so uh, that's what we're doing at the moment. You'll come to the toll bridge, uh, the toll booth further down in. I think it's card payment only, Sharon, isn't it? I think so. If I remember rightly. Everything's card payment. But look at them massive cables. Look, this actual bridge we're on is being suspended by them big, thick cables from them tall pillars right in front of us. Look at that, that amazing, isn't it? mile an hour speed limit on here and we're coming in a quarter up. of a mile keep right to continue on Humber Bridge A15 keep right okay so we've got to stay on the right hand lane when we get over the bridge right okay oh here comes an ambulance to go over the bridge okay I've not seen no signs of how much it is or anything no. oh here it is here we go here's the tolls folks there's right we've got, to put the, we've got to put it down because um, motorbikes are free we've got 150 a, people we've got 150 is it we just pulled over shall aren't we we have we're not too sure what this is let's have, to have a look it's a monument yeah let's have a look at this folks look we saw it in the distance and uh I'll try and get it back that sun behind it look at this look what a building that is, look. That is perfect, isn't it? Look. Stuck in the middle of a, well, not in the middle of a field, but uh, let's see if we can find out some some more about it, eh? Yeah. Didn't even notice we're in, we're in Yorkshire, but uh, we don't actually know where we are. But let's have a look see what this says about this thing here. Yeah, the Sledmere Monument. Each facade of the monument faces the cardinal point of the compass, which is marked by the carved stone in the gable end of the viewing room. The main structure of Ashmore stone is grey limestone. It's probably from Roach in South Yorkshire and the red from the Bunter quarries in North Nottinghamshire and the inner skin being of local brick. The void is filled with rubble and trash loosely mortared. The tower is solid above the viewing room which is approximately at the two-third height mark. The design is by John Gibbs of Oxford, very much of the style of that time and it was built in 1865 to commemorate Sir Tatton Sykes. It's 147 foot high, or surrounded by a dry moat. So this is the uh, moat around it, which uh, I think it said it would have been filled with gravel, Sharon. Must have been water originally now, mustn't it? Eh? It must have been, look, Monument Cottage. Little co what's that over there? Monument Cottage. Monument Cottage, just have a little zoom into that as well. Look at that, look. How lovely is that? Yeah, so we saw that right in the distance and we thought, got to pull over and stop. Anyway, got to get going, folks. We're still about an hour away. We'll see you when we get there. So we've arrived, Sharon. We've arrived. Here we are at the uh, Riviera Guest House where we have stayed before. But we did speak to Emma because the last time we come here, we was able to park here because there was a, a notice on that lamppost there, Sharon, saying parking 
permits or well, everything. The, the machine was covered over. The machine was covered over and there was a note saying you don't have to pay. But she said, come in as soon as you get here and they'll give you the scratch cards and that will take us for our, our complete stay sort of thing. So you, you obviously come down to your car and scratch your, 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 your day you started or And, uh, and that, we know they check because Mr Whitby gets caught. Mr Whitby. <laughs> Simon got caught, didn't he? Yeah, for tickets. So yeah, just be on the safe side, depending on the time of year. Now is October the 14th, Sharon? Yes, it is. Yeah, so that's the day we've arrived. And that's what the parking situation seems to be at this moment in time. Right, let's get inside. Oh, Sharon's getting out the car. That's the uh, parking permit for other times of the year. Uh, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pay here at machine, display your ticket. So you've got the old uh, ticket there. And that's the uh, normal fees in the uh, peak season, I would imagine. Here, yeah, 1st of March to 31st of October. Over there, you may be able to see them down there. Let's just zoom in a little bit. That's the famous wow bones that you can uh, stand and look through. And... Uh, the Riviera guest house where we stay, which is a lovely guest house, is this one here, folks. Lovely, friendly place. Let's hope it's not changed. Where is she? Where is she? Come in, baby. The pirate ship out there. Hey? The pirate ship out at sea, there. Look, they go on. Is Look, it out there? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, yeah, let me try and zoom in. Hold on. Can you see it? Look, the pirate ship out there. Look, there it is. There we go. That's something you can pick up from the uh, harbour. But depending on the weather, Sharon, will depend whether or not we can go on it or not. Oh well, yeah. And we don't know what we've got planned yet, do we? No, we don't, no. Right, let's get inside. Right, okay, so here's an update. I've moved from out of the front now, and uh, we've got a parking permit here, which we got. You can buy these at reception inside. Just so people do get these filled out incorrectly, and uh, just to make sure that you know how to fill them out, you put your year down, the month of October, the uh, start date of your your stay and your registration number there. And if you fill these in wrong, then you will get a ticket. So just make sure that you've got everything down correctly there and uh, you should be okay. On display, and then you should be all right. As I say, we're parked just around the corner now in these bays here, which are the Crescent. This is called the Crescent. It goes all the way around and that's where we're parked. So from your start date there, which we've got down as the 14th, the permit is valid there, as you can see, from uh, a maximum of four days until 10 a.m. the day after expiry. So there you go. So we've got four days from there. We're covered for that there, from that first date there. So that's where I'm parked. And if I just walk around the corner here, coming back around here, this is where I was parked, right out the front, just in this way here. So you can actually park anywhere from where I've just shown you there or come down here and it's your first right anywhere along the uh, crescent on that side as well. So in we go. We see you upstairs. So in your reception, you've got all your um, places where you can visit down there as well. Little breakfast room there, as you probably remember from the last time we was here and also over there as well. And that's where you ring when you book in to get attention. Well, just had a little chat with the owner there, and uh, we're on the top floor apparently now, so we was on the uh, second floor before, so uh, let's just make our way up. Go through the fire doors. Uh, this is the first floor, I think. I think it's the top floor we're on, so Sharon's already up there. I think this might have been the floor we was on before, if I remember rightly. Yep. Yep, there's one, two, three, four on that one. And we're at one more floor. Top floor, let's get up there. That's a nice view of uh, Whitby, look. With the harbour there, and that's where that boat goes out. The uh, pirate ship, so to speak. And it looks like that's the ruin for the Abbey up there, look. Very nice. Right, up again, I think this is the floor, um, room nine I think he said, Hello. oh, sh <laughs> you fit life out of me, so we're through here, you've done this room, say that again, two weeks ago this was finished, oh okay, this is a newly decorated room, but look at that view, nice little quaint room, look at this, 
Wow, nice. Let's have a look at that window. Here, look at that view, Fantastic. Sharon. Same from the toilet. Wow, look at that for a view. Look. It's, it's a poo with a view. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Right, well, let's have a quick look around then, Sharon. Um, can we put the big lights on? So over here, we've got a, a little fridge. Yeah, it's, it's, it is on, I can see the ice in there. We've got some uh, instant hot chocolates over there. Some Yorkshire tea and some yeah. coffees. Very large, oh, that falls out, does it? Yeah. Some very large mugs there. You've got some milks as well, sugars. Look at the size of them cups, look. They're enormous, aren't they? You've got a little travel kettle, kettle there. What's in that top covered up here? Little ironing board with some hangers and also uh, some more storage space up there. The headboard is a cloth one, which is very nice. We have got uh, a twin socket and also, which is nice, let me turn that lighter for a minute. Oh, wrong one. Must be a little switch on there, a little pull cord there. Man. The uh, sockets have got USB-C and the USB-A points on them as well. In brushed stainless steel, I think that is. You've got a nice uh, seating chair there, nice sort of 60s design uh, chair there. You've got a small TV up on the wall there. You've got a radiator. Lovely towels and bathrooms. You've got a nice little station there for your... Uh, Hair dryer and also an extra socket there with another USB point on that and also the mirror. What's that say? Press there. The light oh, look at that. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? And uh, yeah, you've got the same sockets over your you've side got as well. Welcome pack as well, and they like you to fill in your breakfast order, which is all in the book for us to fill okay. in. Okay, what's the bed out? like? Well, under bum, it feels lovely and soft. Right, Very okay, nice. so coming around here into the bathroom area again you've got a good size shower there with um dual heads on it you've got the uh, rainfall head obviously and the um standard head as well you've got the toilet there which has got some uh, cleaner in it which has been done as well multiple toilet rolls there as you can see you've also got a bin nice towel rack there and some good quality taps as well by the looks of it and while you're sitting on the throne you could be looking out at see look at that look at the bathroom window there look so that's where we're staying as i say the room's compact um it's got plenty of um it's lovely and bright plenty of character yeah i love it and as i say it's nice and bright it is a newly decorated room apparently so um yeah we can stay here shower not a problem apparently which we've seen on the website where they got like four poster beds so um that's something else you may get if you have a different size room as i say we didn't specify a size room here uh, we just accepted what was coming along sort of thing. So, um, yeah, we're well pleased so with this. So far, we've had two lovely rooms. And it's actually very quiet, Sharon. It, it, well, I did shut the window. You could hear the descent. I know, you've got double glazing. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's the point I'm making. There's no road noise out the front or anything like that. Right, well, okay. We're in, folks. Um, not too sure how we're going to do the rest of the day yet. We're not actually hungry at the moment. I've so. actually seen on here, for all you wicked people, there's a Dracula and Ghost Walks of an evening maybe we might do that tomorrow night yeah we'll okay. have to inquire about that yeah okay that's then. your halloween tree yeah okay shall i've just had a lovely shower yeah i've had a ch lovely chill out watching the film and uh, i think we'll go out and get something to eat maybe just have a look around we've got no bottled water we like some bottled water in here so uh, it's still daylight outside so we're gonna have a go uh, and little... i left the kindle in the car oh dear what about that you get the car keys then shall come on in, let's make our way out and one little thing i just thought i'd mention that radiator there throws out some blinking heat and don't forget some of these old buildings can be quite cold we've had that on for about 20 minutes Sharon yeah isn't it Ooh, gonna have to turn it down it's only set on 21 degrees as well look or is that the room temperature that's what it's set on yeah I think that's the room temperature there so you've got that to thermostatically control it's only simple up and down buttons there and uh this is a nice little touch look because we have been here before Martin and Sharon look at this look Welcome back, Zed and Emma. How about that? That's nice, isn't it? Lovely. Right, let's it's a Lovely going. place. Look at that wallpaper. I've showed that. I thought that was actually... Yeah, it looks like wood, doesn't it? And I like that. It's good, it's good um, probably washable vinyl, that is, I would imagine, Shia. Yeah, look at that lovely picture. That's here, isn't it? Whitby. Oh, is it? Yeah, look, there's the Abbey in the background. I was looking is. at that. We're using the shower. Yeah. Right. Come on, then. Let's get going. Just have a little walk. We're not really going to explore today, folks. It's quite late no. in the day. Oh, I ain't got my watch on. Hold that. Where'd I take my watch off? 
shower. No, put it down there, didn't I? 5.43. I always keep my watch on in the bath. Well, I normally shower. do, but the trouble is, shower, is that when I'm washing like that, sometimes I've caught that on my old nip-nips when I'm grabbing my hands like That's that. too much information, isn't it? Come on, baby, she's forgot the menu. That's the menu for tomorrow, Sharon. Yeah, I'm having smoked salmon and scrambled egg on a muffin. And Martin is having a full English breakfast with poached eggs. Right. Yeah, one thing to notice, folks, is that um, I don't think there's a lift here, Sharon, is there? No. So if you're not or less able body, for example, you may ask for a uh, lower floor. Lower floor, because yeah. uh, we're, we're able bodied, obviously, we're not bothered. So, uh, yeah, just something to be aware of. So, it has had a few awards out of. Uh, over the years, 2020, 2022. Oh, and there you go, 2024, nine out of 10. That's not bad, is it? How about that? Martin, so, what? we're on the left-hand side. <laughs> what, just past the duchy? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, your rooms are written there, as you can see. We're number nine, so we'll be in that side, which is where we actually was before, Sharon. When it... And you put your breakfast order for, oh look, there's quite a few there, Yeah. in there. And that's where you put your breakfast thing for the yeah. next morning. You got a key, have you, Sharon? There you go, so you get a key for the door, the front door, and out you come to this lovely seafront at Whitby. So you're just far enough away to have the peace and quiet, but near enough to have a nice little walk down, down some stairs into the main old town, so to speak. And that's exactly what we're gonna do I've now. I've gotta look for the Simply Whitby Yellow Bands response. <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably be meeting Simon tomorrow, I would imagine. So the parking goes up to, I think it's the 31st of October, Sharon. Oh, was it? Then after that, it's out of season. Then you're okay to park anywhere. Where's Lulu then? Round, it, round that way. Oh, round right. Way. But you can park down this, this part okay. of the Crescent as well, apparently. So uh, it's just your choice. I went back that way because that's the first place we saw. And he advised us to go from the Crescent that side. Right, brilliant. Okay, let's get down the front and we'll show you part of the journey. See? You just walk past this, which is a little bit past where we're standing up there. And this looks like it could have been a right building back in the day. This is the Royal Hotel. It doesn't look uh, very royal at the moment. It looks quite run down, but um, I can imagine that this... Oh, it is open. Yeah, it's clean inside. Hey? Eh? It's clean in there. It is clean, is it? Yeah. yeah, it is obviously open, but the Royal Hotel, if it were the name Royal, you normally attribute to um, high class service. So uh, that would have been back in the... Uh, early part of last oh, century restaurant. I would imagine that would have been a blinking lovely place to stay and most of these houses which are guest houses now are old um, big Victorian houses with multi floors I'm just going to spin you around now we're just approaching the whalebone Sharon and you've got a lovely view over there of the abbey and looking down Sharon isn't it on through the whalebones there I think they are actually whalebone Sharon they are, aren't they? yeah let's go over there for a second let's cross the road here yeah, big wide roads, people. Look, you can imagine people. Oh, look people... at that moon! What a picture with the abbey! Yeah. Look at that. You can imagine yesteryear horse and carriages coming along here. So this is the famous whale bones here. Look, and they are actually whale bones. I don't know what ones they are, Sarah. What part? Is it the, the jaw bones? I'm not sure. God knows. But they are actually whale bones. They are. What? Whitley Ghost Walk tonight at 7:30 from the whale bones. Adult seven pound, child four pound. There we go. What's the time? Just over an hour. Let's see if it's on tomorrow. We'll see. We will. Yeah, we'll have to see because uh, that's something we could possibly do. I don't know how long it takes, mind you. But let me try and zoom in on this shot over here, people. Look, that's what Sharon was saying. A lovely shot of the abbey with the moon just behind it. Let me zoom in. Wow, look at that, Sharon. That is this amazing. That bird flying by. I know, perfect. I just see that, yeah. Absolutely perfect. What a lovely view of the uh, abbey there with the moon. Large moon, Sharon, just it behind is. it. So, so that hotel looks better there, look we was at the side Yeah, of it. we was at the side of the hotel, this is obviously the front entrance now. What a massive complex though, look. Uh, how royal was that place back in them days, Sharon? Restaurant looked quite nice. And how big is that bleating seagull there? Look at him, he's absolutely <laughs> enormous, look. Don't they? I'm he's sure a they're young get... one because he's still got the speckled feathers on the head. I'm sure they're getting bigger, Sharon. Yeah. Uh, but you know what that is? Well, it's all the processed food they're eating now, Sharon. <laughs> I bet he ain't got that bleating app. <laughs> he's super sized, isn't he? Right, so we're walking along the top promenade now, where all the benches are along here, and we're just going to work our way down, and that's the main part of Whitby There's the down there. There's the harbour through there, look. Yeah, and that's exactly where we're going to go and have a look, see if we can find a shop open. 
So just making our way down now. We're losing the light a little bit now, but uh, all these little narrow cobbled, well, not cobbled, are they? No, now? No. All these little narrow streets here, all sort of higgledy piggledy. You've got sort of a more later type bricks here, and then you've got the old, old type of Colonel big blocks. Doorway. Look at that, look. I think I've actually shown that before, Sharon. I wonder how many of these are holiday lets. Yeah, I would imagine quite a few. Yeah, like mm. Harbour View, that could probably be, couldn't it? It looks like the... Yeah, what's oh this yeah, here? holiday cottages. Holiday cottages, that's down there, isn't it? There They've you got go. CCTV, don't go down yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it's all CCTV, that there one. Yeah, well. this is holiday let. There we go, look, another one there, look. What lovely little places. And of course, if you come um, out of season, Sharon, sort of October, between October and March, which we did the last time. Well, we you, are now. You get some fantastic rates. <laughs> and October. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but it's not, it's up to about the 31st of October, isn't yeah. it? You get some fantastic rates and you get a lovely two or three day break. So we'll have a long weekend. So this sort of thing, what we're doing now is within sort of everyone's remit over a weekend, for example. Yeah. Or better still, if you can manage, if, you, if you're retired or whatever, and you can get away during the week sometime, get a two or three day break. Yeah, it's always cheaper in the week. Always cheaper in the week. There we go, look, Miller's Yard. Was that an old workman show who uh, used to work here many moons ago? All the attic rooms, look up there, look. Yeah. Lovely, aren't they? All these old Victorian houses, look. Fisherman's Warehouse, look. Yeah, what was that many years ago? Fisherman's Warehouse. Don't tell me that, show. <laughs> What an unusual door number. 35 and two thirds? Yeah. Yeah, Shay, that's the sort of house, like, in between. Harry Potter. No, you remember um, Coronation Street, when there was a gap? Oh, yeah. And uh, Len Fairclough brought it and built a house in between. That's uh. probably what happened now, I'd imagine. Oh, there's a sign there. Where? I don't think we're going to be able to read that. Uh, yeah, look at that little ginnel. Oh, look, go Sharon. down there? What's that called? Bakehouse Yard, Sharon, look. Oh, you won't be able to read that. Henry Freeman Whitby Cotswold. He puts that so I can't see it. I can't see it, Sharon. Should we go down there? Can we go down there? Oh, well, I don't know. Should we go? We've never, oh, I've never been down here before in my life. Snap. Come on in. This is, now, this is a ginnel, Sharon. God, can you imagine this in icy yeah, weather? Can you imagine bringing your furniture down here? You've moved in and you've got one of those massive long three-piece suites, Sharon. Yeah. That you've got to get in. Well, imagine doing your shopping. Yeah, look, look. Or I'll tell you even worse, Sharon, when it's icy out. I know. I see him pitch black at night time. Wow, look at this. Got to be quiet here because I don't know where we're supposed to be down here, Sharon. I'll tell you what, I don't think we're allowed down here, Sharon. It's the entrance to the cottages. Yeah, it's I know, but lets. I think it's people's houses. No, I think we'll go round. Oh, come on in, we'll take the chance. Yes. You're, you're in front, Sharon. Yeah, I'll get to the telling off. Yeah, telling off, Sharon. <laughs> we're 60 years old, love. You speak for yourself. Telling off. <laughs> you speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you will be in August, Sharon. Yeah, I'm not there yet. Hey, look at them walls on your left-hand side, just past that duchy, look. <laughs> look. Oh, they're bowed, aren't they? Bowed out, look. Oh, aren't they lovely? Look, see, we'd miss all this if we didn't... Someone's just walked past me. Look. Someone's just look, looked. Look at that, look. I was looking down, and then he was looking up through the window down there somewhere, looking out a bloke. Is that a little um, ginnel down there? Or is, there, is it one way out? I'm not sure. Yeah, look, it's the exit. Is it? Yeah. Of course there is. I knew that. You sounded a panic pooey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at But when this. they designed this, what, was it Press supposed to be like cottage, this? Or, yeah. or has it just been added on to? No, this is what it's been like for That's years. That's Gang Cottage. Look. Go on in. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't what, it? It's just amazing to see how uh, people used to live, isn't it? Oh, I don't know where this has brought us out, but uh, somewhere. All right, where are we? Let's go down here. Oh, we? look at that. We're at the, oh, that's the, oh, yeah, I remember that one. The outlet store. Very uh, 60s and that, isn't it? Look at that. I, I, oh. I must say, Shao, I need a, a T-shirt because um, <laughs> someone forgot to pack me some T-shirts, Shao, didn't you? Nice damn practice. Yeah, there you go. Do you know what? It's not bad. They put all that Fashion nice. and accessories. Look, it's all retro stuff, really, isn't it? Look, £20. Yeah, they're not original DM, shall well, you wouldn't know, would you, if you, you would jeans know, over? Shall. You'd know, baby. If you if, if you was in the 70s and Very you nice. turned out with a pair of them on while everyone else has got proper D, uh, DMs on, you get beaten up. Mm -mm. I always had proper DMs. I had 10 old DMs. Black ones with steel toe caps. 10 old, Sharon. 10 laced up holes. Look at that old building. Oh, there's just so much to see. Yeah, I'm there? hoping... Yeah, we're trying to show you a bit of old Whitby here, people. The old shops and all that. <laughs> 
but I'm sure if you go over to uh Martin, that's the shop. Eh? Fanny Taylor. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh simply Whitby was in there yeah. and it was one of the characters who dresses up yeah. was in there uh, talking to Simon, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh Fanny Taylor's shop there. There you go, we Very found interesting. We found Fanny's. Oh yeah. look at that old puppy. Oh, hold on, there. walking down here, shall huh? keep going. You got uh Mandy Lou's shop. Should be shut. I now. don't know whether it should be open now. Not this time of night. And if anyone don't know who Mandy Lou is, she's one of our subscribers who's normally in the chat chat box on a Sunday. Six o'clock, it's probably shut up now, Sharon. Of course it will be. Here we go. No kids out this time, and it's out of season. I know. Why well, do I think it's open, Sharon? I think it might be open. What do I know? <laughs> I think it might be open. I see a big ice cream outside. That's supposed to be a nice place to eat in there, Sharon. That one is as well. They went there last week, didn't they? Who? The. Uh, the marine that did look oh, nice. Oh yeah. Uh, she yeah. had a steak in there, didn't she? Oh, so uh, Carol. Carol, yeah, yeah. That did look nice. Yeah. So there's the quayside there. Look, another nice chip shop. We've next not, to we've uh, not been in there though. Next to Mandy Lou's shop. Let's see if she's in. I bet she ain't. No, that's her. That's her shop there. She's no, not in, is she? No, someone else. Oh, we just had another chat with a uh, young lady who's in there. Mandy finishes at five, and she'll be working yeah, in the um, oh, yeah. fudge bar a little bit further up, Sharon tomorrow well, so we might fudge, no we might pop in there later and see uh, Mandy now this is magpie calf which is renowned for its fish and chips Sharon isn't it yeah now we haven't eaten in there but uh, many many people do and they rave about it but we've never eaten in there I think it's quite expensive yeah but uh, we quite like uh, what's the one on the front trenches wasn't trenches it? Wasn't but it? we're we... gonna try something tomorrow something different yeah we'll have a look so these are some amusements if you're into that sort of thing me and Sharon aren't really into that sort of thing. We're past that phase now. I'd only do it with the grandchildren. Though. Yeah, we only go there with the grandchildren. Mostly it's gig now, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. And I must say, there's a distinct smell of fish in the air. This is the fish bag bit, isn't it? There? Yeah, so if you want your fresh fish, then this is the place to come down and, and have it, people. Right, well, we are losing light now. We're just going to find a little local shop. We didn't intend to come uh, this far. No. I'm just showing you about the, the seagulls here. Look at these signs, look. Yeah, hey, look, it says it all there, doesn't it? Right, we're down by the uh, harbour now. You can just see that moon, Sharon, in the background yeah. still. Can you see it? Let me just zoom in. Hold on. It's moved a little bit now. Can you see it over there? It's funny how it looks a lot smaller now, although it's still pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. Little crafty seagull down there, look. That's a fisherman's boat, isn't it? Look, He's look, on the fisherman's look, look. boat, look. Look. Do you know that, that way that's moving? Let me feel a bit iffy. Yeah, look at him, Sharon, look. They're not silly, are they? They know yeah. all the little places, don't they? And he's on lookout on the top. And look. the one on the top there, look. <laughs> Where is it? Hold on. Look, he's sitting there, look out, look. Unbelievable. Yeah, they're, they're working in cahoot shell. They're a bit like us. Yeah. <laughs> There's Dracula's Where? place there, look. Yeah, that's um, uh, Bram Stoker. Stoker wrote his books here, shall we? Yeah. So that's the uh, Dracula exhibition, which I don't They've think we've ever been in. the original cloak worn by Christopher Lee in there. Eh? By Christopher Lee, the original, the original cloak, cloak from Christopher Lee yeah. used to be big in the Hammer House of Horror films back in the yeah. 19, late 60s and early 70s, I think, if I remember rightly. Adult six pound children, five, that's not bad. What's that for the um... tour? Takes approximately 15 minutes. Oh, that's not too bad. 11 till five. We'd have to try that. Yeah. Maybe. As long as it's not nothing too claustrophobic. One thing I wanted to try was um, someone says you've got to go on one of the open open top buses. Oh yeah. I don't know where they go from, but uh, or how long it takes, but that's something we might consider as well. So that way you get to see loads of stuff as well. Yeah. I don't know whether it's um, someone talking over and telling you what's yeah, what. Yeah, I think I looked on in that book and it, it, there is a tour guide yeah. as well. Or we could go on one of the boats that goes out of the harbour. See what the weather's like, a cold. Because yeah. that boat made me feel a bit iffy. Oh, don't worry about that, Shia. Oh, I don't, don't be sick. So even though it's night time, there's still quite a few people milling about. And uh, I suppose all the eateries are open up now. But it looks like all the boat tours are stopped, Sharon. Yeah. So that sort of stuff's really for the daytime, I would imagine. But even just out of season, it's not cold out. Oh. So I'm, I'm walking about about a... Let's find you a tish. No, I don't want her there, baby. <laughs> we'll have a look at the charity shops. We're going to do a bit of that yeah, as well, well people. Look. She does DVDs. want to look at the charity shops. DVDs. It's all there for us, Sharon. There's yeah. loads of them around here. Oh, we're standing outside what used to be Papa's Fish and Chip Shop. And I think now, that is that where this burger, Sharon? Yeah. It? Yeah. So we've never tried them, but... Uh, it's not something that we're going to have tonight. We're actually looking for a backstreet fish and chip shop that we once went to. Oh, it, I know how to get there. And it was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah. We're not going to go. They started to queue already, Shao, down in Magpies, didn't they? Yeah. When we were, well, just as we walked back, I don't think you caught that on camera. But we actually see them actually started to queue outside there. 
and also the quay, wasn't it? That place they started queuing outside mm -hmm. there as well. One thing I've noticed, yeah, What's that? if you're a bit of a drinker and you don't mind going down these little back alleys, there's some fantastic little pubs down here, aren't they? No, look at this in one. There, it's shut. No, I'm just saying, look, the smuggler, look. Look at that, look. I know it's closed at the moment, but uh, you get the idea. There's some really lovely little places in there, aren't there? I bet they're haunted. I bet some of these <laughs> are, yeah. Yeah? Uh, I, I can sense it because I'm telescopic, as I've told you before. Yeah, some lovely little old pubs. And you could do a pub crawl here. And by the time you've gone down one of the little, little roads, you'll be hammered, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah, well, there's the Whitby Way. Just come down a little bit further. What's this? There's a fish restaurant there, look. Ah. Loads of eateries, although that one's empty. There's one person in there. I can't too. <laughs> and then they've got, uh, is that a wet fish stall? Oh, that's their takeaway part. That oh, was the restaurant. that's takeaway part. That's not one we've never been to before. Oh, got my elbow shower. I don't know what I've done to it. Are you sure you know where we're going? Yeah. Is that an old word for shop, Sharon? Look. What? Yeah, it would be, the wouldn't Black it? The Black Swan Shop with an E on the end and a P, extra P, look. Would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably. Oh, look at this. Now, was that What's part that of that say? church or was that built afterwards? Look at I'm that, trying look. to see what the blue plaque says. Hey, amazing, isn't it? Penelope Curzon. There you go, 1765 to 1780. Now, that looks a bit eerie, doesn't it, Sharon? Mm. The George Hotel. No, I'm not staying. Don't there. don't stay there, yeah. No. Look. Wow. Look where they would have cut the railings off. Look. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, all these railings here were all chopped off. I think at the start of the Second World War, Sharon. Mm. Might be the first. I'm not sure. And that was to provide metal for the forces to be able to make all the tanks and stuff like that. And they was all the way around. Not only here, all over the country, they was cut down but to make all the uh, war tanks and rifles and guns and all that. And they were never replaced. We're just going to take the uh, evening off now and just chill out and all that. And I have to edit this video. This is going to probably get a going out with you. Well, Tuesday show. The first video Tuesday sort of thing. So, yeah, do keep tuned, folks. Hope you've enjoyed where we are so far. It's a lovely hotel room. Nice and friendly people here. We have stayed here before. And uh, just look at them waves rolling in over there. They look fantastic. Well, there you go folks we're gonna have a lovely little stay here the weather stays good for us and we can have a little bit of fun while we're here and as i say don't forget we're going to try and meet up with uh, simon from simply whitby tv till then we'll see you in the next video and until then bye, bye for now bye.